Hey guys, HDV here, and welcome back to another Pokemon Sun and Moon discussion video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at who is the strongest new Pokemon in Sun and Moon out of all of the new Pokemon. This video won't be going over Legendary Pokemon, Ultra Beasts, or Alolan Pokemon. I'll save that for future videos. This is literally just all of the new Pokemon in general. Uh, I have obviously gone over the best types, uh, Fire, Water, and Grass, and I, as I do want to continue that series and do more typings, I thought that we were at a good place now where we could just take a look at who is the strongest new Pokemon, you know, of out of the whole Pokedex. Um, so obviously there will be a couple Pokemon that we have already touched upon, and so we will just be recapping those, but uh, there will obviously be some new faces as well. Obviously I will be going over the stats, the typings, the moves they get, and you know, just in general, and, and their abilities and stuff, just to see what makes them such a strong Pokemon. I have narrowed it down to 8 choices, uh, which I believe to be very strong Pokemon, and I think the best is out of those, and so I obviously will give my feedback at the end of the video but also I want to know what your guys uh, suggestions is to the strongest Pokemon in Sun and Moon so be sure to leave them in the comment section as well after watching the video if you don't agree with my choice anyway that is pretty much everything for the introduction so with all of that out of the way let's get into the video and I hope you enjoy okay so starting things off we have the fire starter Pokemon Incineroar obviously we have already touched upon this Pokemon and this will just be a recap but we still need to go over what makes him so strong this is also not in any particular order uh, out of strength, this is literally just the Pokedex order, so, you know, don't feel like Incineroar is the least out of all of these Pokemon, because that's not the case at all, it's literally just Pokedex order. So anyway, we've got Incineroar here, who obviously, we already know, has an incredible hidden ability in Intimidate, and a pretty nice type, uh, dual typing of Fire and Dark, so, you know, obviously neutralizing the bug weakness that Dark would have. So that's really, really nice, also immune to Psychic. Um, and it stats across the board are very nice, it is just very slow, it obviously has 95 HP, 115 attack, 90 defense and special defense, 80 special attack, but only 60 in speed, which obviously does let him down. But like I said, he does get access to Intimidate, so a bulky set is not going to be any uh, anything new on this Pokemon at all, and obviously hits very hard. Obviously all these starter Pokemon do have their own signature move and Z move, um, Incineroar's signature move is Darkest Lariat, and that basically just ignores the stat changes of a Pokemon, if something sets up like a curse or something like that it'll still do the same damage as it would if it didn't had if it hadn't set up a curse uh, it also gets a very um nice move in throat chop as well which is stab and that basically stops pokemon from using sound based moves for two turns so basically if primarino was gonna you know shoot off a hyper voice incineral comes in hits him with, with the throat chop he's not singing any songs for a while but that's just the start of obviously Incineroar, he also gets access to things like Flamethrower, Flare Blitz, Outrage, Cross Chop, just by level up people, just by level up. Obviously he can be run as a mixed um, attacker, he can be run as a physical or special. Physical is obviously the better way to go because it does have much better points in that, but uh, you know, it can, a special Incineroar isn't going to be anything, you know, to be frowned against. Um, the TMs this Pokemon learns are also incredible, gets access to Earthquake, Leech Life, Brick Break, Fire Blast, Low Sweep, Overheat, Focus Blast, Brutal Swing, Will-O-Wisp if you want to cripple something, Acrobatic, Shadow Claw, Swords Dance if you want to set up, Bulldoze, Swagger, U-Turn, and Dark Pulse, uh, which are obviously, it has a very, very nice, like, wide move pool, so, you know, it's got a counter for a lot of Pokemon that could be a potential threat in the competitive scene. The Egg Moves, this Pokemon gets access to a Body Slam, Crunch, Fake Out, Heat Wave, Nasty Plot, and Revenge, so all very, very nice Egg Moves. Uh, fake Out is obviously very nice, Crunch will be Stab, uh, gets Nasty Plot if you want to run a spell. Special Incineroar, Body Slam with the paral uh, Paralysis uh, chance as well, so very very nice Pokemon in general, and I do believe Incineroar is the best new Fire type Pokemon in Sun and Moon. Um but yeah, that is Incineroar. Next we have Primarina, uh, who obviously we already know is also an incredible Pokemon as well. It's a dual typing of Water and Fury and has the ability Liquid Voice. And what that does is it acts as the water version of Pixelate. So all sound based moves are basically now water. So Primarina gets a very nice stab from that. And it already has an incredible special attack stat. Primarina's stat total is 530. It has 80 HP, 74 attack and defense, 126 special attack, 116 special defense and 60 speed. So it's tied with the same speed as Incineral, but um, this Pokemon is very very nice on the special side so you know running a bold um, Primarina would, wouldn't be too bad because obviously it has enough special defense to be able to take uh, the special attacks without needing loads and loads of investment so kind of like Milotic in a way but obviously it's very very hard on the special side of things with, especially with Liquid Voice which is very very nice. Uh, Primarina's signature move is Sparkling Area which obviously takes the burn off a Pokemon 
which uh, could be nice in the competitive scene. This Pokemon's um, level up moveset, it gets access to moves such as like Aqua Jet, which I know it's not going to be run as a physical Pokemon, but priority is always very nice. Uh, gets Hyper Voice, as we, we know, which will get turned into Water Stab. Gets Moon Blast, which is also a stab. Gets Hydro Pump, which is very nice. Um, egg moves, Amnesia, Aqua Ring, Aqu Aromatic Mist, uh, Charm, Perish, Sun, Wonder Room. Not amazing egg moves, but um, that's not really too much of a, a problem for Primarina. Also gets access to things like Ice Beam, Blizzard from TM, Psychic, Shadow Ball, Energy Ball, uh, Surf, Dazzling Gleam, Waterfall. So all in all, Primarina is a very nice Pokemon. I really love its typing. It's obviously new, um, immune to Dragon type Pokemon, and it is not weak to Steel because uh, the water obviously resists Steel, so it's neutral, which is very nice. Um, and that is Primarina, obviously. Yeah, the water starter Pokemon in Pokemon Sun and Moon. Next we have Wishy Washy. Um, now this is kind of. Uh, I was torn whether to include this Pokemon or not, because obviously its solo form is, I think it is the weakest Pokemon ever, uh, it's weaker than Sunkern, um, but obviously its school form is an absolute monster, I mean this thing is going to devour your team. Like look at the stats, uh, obviously it has an awful HP and speed stat which does let this Pokemon down considerably a lot, uh, it has 45 HP and 30 speed but its attack is 140, defense 130, 140 special attack and 135 special defense, so literally mixed attacker, physical special, whatever you want to do with this thing, let him just let him at you because this thing is going to hit like hell. Obviously because of its very poor speed and HP stat it can get taken out um, uh, quickly and obviously the schooling ability when it has a lot of HP this Pokemon is, forms a powerful school it stops schooling when its HP is low I think it's below 25% so obviously uh, hit it under 25% so priority moves and stuff are gonna really hurt this Pokemon but obviously it's got the defenses to be able to take a couple of hits but once it goes below 25% like this thing is literally uh, you know it's awful uh, it's literally just to come in hit things hard take a big chunk out of the Pokemon, uh, opponent's team and uh, that's what that's basically his job but uh, actually I literally included it just because of its stat total of 620 is absolutely incredible. Uh, gets moves through level up such as Takedown, Aqua Tail, Double Edge, Hydro Pump. Double Edge I would probably stay away from just because it it hits you on the recoil side of things and you want to be as you want as much HP as you can get. Uh, egg moves, it gets muddy water, water pulse, you know, nothing special. Uh, gets ice beam from TM, gets earthquake, very, very nice, gets bulldoze, U-turn, which is very, very nice this Pokemon, uh, and also waterfall. So Wishy Washy is in all a good Pokemon. Just keep it above 25% and this thing is gonna tear things out of your uh, opponent's team. So next we have Tussarina, and this is kind of why I didn't go for Decidueye. I thought Tussarina was a better grass type Pokemon than Decidueye, just because it has um, really nice stats across the board, and it's I know it's uh, got less uh, stat total than Decidueye, but I, j I think its move pool uh, is just better. And uh, yeah, this is I just thought it was a better Pokemon than Decidueye. Obviously, you can agree, you can't agree, uh, you may not agree with me, and you think Decidueye may be better than Tussarina, which is you know completely fine. It is your opinion, but this is why I think Tussarina is. Uh, um, better than Decidueye and should deserve a spot on this video. Uh, first of all, it's got Queenly Majesty, which uh, pressures the opposing Pokemon, making it unable to attack using priority moves. So or, or already, like sucker punches and, and fake outs and stuff aren't going to be taking uh, any any interest in this Pokemon whatsoever, which is also already very very nice. Uh, the stats on this Pokemon is 72 HP, 120 physical attack, 98 def uh, physical defense, and 98 special defense, 50 special attack, and 72 speed. So it does have enough speed to be run as a choice scarfed Pokemon, especially with the move it learns, uh, Trop Kick. Trop Kick is very very nice because it deals damage and also lowers the target's attack by one stage. So it's pretty it's pretty much intimidate, but you're getting a stab Trop Kick off as well, which is going to deal damage. Um, and obviously if you scoff this Pokemon then that's very very nice against a physical attacker. Also gets reliable recovery in Synthesis and uh, if, if you weren't going to run it as a choice scarf. Also gets moves such as Play Rough as well which is very nice. Gets high jump kick, uh, run a therapy. There's, there's loads of sets you can run on this Pokemon uh, which is very very nice. Also gets Solar Beam, Sunny Day, Attract, Low Sweep, Energy Ball, Acrobatics, U-Turn as well, Dazzling Gleam. U-Turn is very very useful especially if you obviously scarf it. Because uh, obviously you can run Trop Kick uh, and U-Turn and then you know whatever you want. Maybe Acrobat, no not Acrobatics. Uh, there's probably other moves there that I'm that I'm just not looking at right now, but uh, Tassarina I really, really like, and I feel like it is better than Tassidui, but that is why it has earned itself a spot on this list. So next we have Galissapod, which you know is just ridiculous in general. is a dual typing of Bug and Water, and has the ability Emergency Exit, which um, when it senses danger, it switches out when the HP becomes half or less, which obviously can be good or bad. It does get cell moves, but I have already touched upon this Pokemon. Uh, and I kind of explained it in a bad way. Um, 
I, I like I, I was talking about setting up with this uh, Pokemon and stuff. It's not really something you'd set up with because of the ability, and it also gets access to the move First Impression, which um, a lot of the, um, this move has great power. It only works the first turn the user is in battle. So Glizzard is literally going to come in and just deal. You know, deal big damage and then get the hell out of there because obviously, if you're going to set up thing uh, with it and you know get hit by a priority move, emergency exit is going to pop and you're going to have to switch out. So it's not the best in that regard. So it literally just comes in, hits hard, gets the hell out of there. It's got 75 HP, 125 physical attack, 140 physical defense, 60 special attack, 90 special defense, and only 40 speed, which does let it down. It evolves early at level 30 as well, which is very nice. I really like that. And obviously, it already gets. Uh, we've already gone over first impression. Gets. Um, uh, bug by swords dance razor shell sucker punch pin missile you know it gets a couple of moves that you want to be uh you know you want to get um involved with also gets aqua jet as well for priority gets metal claw spikes if you want to set up some early spikes that might be a different set people aren't um aware of uh, also gets access to leech life as well which is nice recovery because leech life has obviously got massive boost in this game gets access to brit break area lace uh full swipe if you want a shiny hunt with a shadow claw swords dance we've already gone over gets x scissor poison jab uh, and waterfall as well so get some good stab in those moves but overall golisopod is a very nice pokemon it is obviously uh, very good in the competitive scene a lot of people do really enjoy using this pokemon and i can see why it's very nice on the physical side of things um and that is golisopod so next we have sil valley haven't touched upon this pokemon yet and i really do, did want to because this pokemon is really really good i really love the design of it i love everything about it it is just a pure normal type but the rks system uh changes the type depending on held item obviously it's a little like a uh, bit of wordplay there rks obviously means arceus and obviously arceus has got a, a similar ability uh, and so literally you can literally run any typing on this Pokemon because you just got to use um, the move surrounding it and the, uh, I mean the held item and it's going to hit hard. So basically uh, it has 95 stats across the board which is just a little bit lower than uh, the mythical Pokemon like Mew and, and Celebi and Jirachi and stuff. Uh, it evolves through happiness through Type Null. Type Null is also a very, very nice Pokemon as well. Uh, Type Null gets uh, 95 across the board except for a 59 uh, speed stat. So obviously that goes up to 95 when it does evolve into Sil Valley. Sil Valley gets just an incredible um, move pool. It gets a strong attack in multi-type attack which uh, the type matches uses current type, so that's always stab, which is very, very nice. Gets access to Poison Fang, Ice Fang, Thunder Fang, Iron Head, Fire Fang, just through level one, like, you know what I mean? It's crazy. Gets Crush Claw, which is very nice. X is a crunch, double hit, air slash, tri attack, double edge, parting shot. Uh, even gets Draco Meteor from uh, a move tutor. Uh, and then obviously the TMs are just crazy as well. Gets Dragon Claw, Ice Beam, Thunderbolt, Return, Shadow Ball, Flamethrower, Aerial Ace, we've already gone over, Steel Wing, Explosion, if you just want to be that guy. Uh, Shadow Claw, even gets T Wave, Swords Dance, Rock Slide, X is a U turn, very, very nice. Gets Surf. Um, U-turn is obviously very nice for switching initiative and everything. All in all, this Pokemon is incredible, and like I said, it is just a little bit off being a, a, a mythical um, uh, Pokemon, like, in, in line with those. But, um, no, I really love this Pokemon, and definitely one of the best new Pokemon in Pokemon Sun and Moon isn't a legendary Pokemon. Anyway, next we have Delmes, who is a Grass and Ghost, we obviously have already gone on this Pokemon. Now, I was I was a little bit hesitant to include this Pokemon in this video, but um, I looked at his stat total, it was 517, it was a pretty nice stat total. I don't really even take speed into effect anymore, just because I know it's a silly thing to say that, but all of the new Alola Pokemon are pretty slow, so... Um so yeah, that's kind of that. Um, it does get the ability Steel Worker, which powers up its Steel Type moves, and it does get access to quite a few Steel Type moves, which is very, very nice. Uh, it does have 70 HP, 131 Physical Attack, 100 uh, Physical Defense, 86 Special Attack, 90 Special Defense, and 40 Speed. Uh, it doesn't evolve it as a single stage Pokemon. Gets access to moves such as Mega Drain, uh, Gyro Ball, Giga Drain, uh, Anchor Shot, Shadow Ball, Energy Ball, Heavy Slam, Phantom Force, Power Whip. Doesn't get any Egg moves, but um, it gets nice TMs in Earthquake, Solar Beam, Shadow Ball, Brick Break, Area release energy ball brutal swing shadow claw bulldoze rock slide uh flash cannon i know you won't be using this pokemon as a special well i mean you could use it as a special pokemon but it, when it's got a 131 physical attack stat you, you kind of be more inclined to you know go with that um so yeah i mean i just included it just because uh, of it's a uh, pretty good stat total and i know decidueyes is higher and decidueyes is a better pokemon than this i believe um 
I thought I'd just include it anyway because it's just a it's just a different Pokemon, you know. It's just you know it's it's an anchor, you know what I mean? It's a good it's a cheeky Pokemon. Anyway, and last but not least, we have the pseudo legendary of Pokemon Sun and Moon, uh, which is Komoo. Uh, has a stat total of 600, has 75 HP, 110 physical attack, 125 physical defense, 100, uh, 100 special attack, 105 special defense, and 85 speed. So very nice stats across the board. Also gets access to the ability Soundproof, which stops Pixelate um, Hyper Voice in its tracks. Obviously, Fairy type moves are going to devour this Pokemon because of its dual typing with Dragon and Fighting. So um, you want to stay clear of the Fairy type moves. But um, this Pokemon does uh, evolve at level 45, and it has pretty nice moves across the um, a board. It gets Clanging Scales, which is its um, signature move, and it deals damage but lowers the user's defense by one stage after attacking it. It's special type as well. Um, obviously, it already has a very nice physical defense stat of 125. So, I mean, you're going to be able to make, uh, use one without having to be, like, super scared. But it uh, gets access to moves like Sky Up, it even gets Belly Drum, gets Dragon Tail, Dragon Claw, Noble Roar, Dragon Dance, Outrage. Dragon Dance is going to be very very nice on this Pokemon uh, and then obviously the egg moves it gets are counter dragon breath and reversal so you could run a very um, defensive set on this Pokemon and just hit everything with counter does get Draco Meteor as well uh, gets very a, a bunch of TM moves gets dragon claw uh, earthquake brick break flamethrower rock tomb aerial ace echoed voice focus blast false white for shiny hunting gets shadow claw uh, swords dance bulldoze X is a uh, poison jab uh, and flash cannon so a big variety of moves for this Pokemon and I really like this pseudo legendary it is very very nice um, and I, I really like the fact that it gets access to soundproof to stop pixelate hyper voice but yeah literally just stay away from the the fairy type moves with this Pokemon because they will hurt like hell even with its really good um, defense stats but that is all of the Pokemon I believe to be you know pretty much the strongest in Sun and Moon if I was going to pick one I think it would probably be out of Maybe, uh, I think, out of all of them, I think it would be Primarina, Galissapod, Sil Valley, and Kamoa. Out of those four, I think I'd take off... I don't know, because Sil Valley gets very nice um, stab on every move, pretty much. And, and yeah, I don't know, I really do like Sil Valley. Kamoa is obviously very, very nice. It is a bit of a weakness. It's four times uh, weakness to Fury. But, um, but that is that. Primarina is obviously a very nice Pokemon just in general with water and fairy dual typing and it hits very hard thanks to Liquid Voice. And then Glissapod's just disgusting in general because it comes in, hits hard and then gets the hell out of there. So, um, so yeah, it's out of those four. I really cannot make a decision. Um, if I was going to go with anything, I sh maybe something like, maybe Primarina or Sil Valley. Just because Kamo is four times weakness to Fury and then Glissapod, if you do get hit by like a, a priority move, it can send you straight out. And it isn't the fastest Pokemon as well, so it might not even get off at a first impression attack. Whereas Primarina, you know it's going to do some damage and you know Sil Valley is going to do a bit of work as well in a competitive scene. So it's probably out of those two, um, maybe Sil Valley, I don't know, I really cannot make my decision out of those two. So please... Uh, Leave your decision in the comment section below. We'd really like to hear it. But that is everything from this video. So if you did enjoy, please smash that like button below. I really, really do appreciate it. I have a couple more discussion videos coming on in uh, the screen in a second. So be sure to check them out if you haven't already. But like I said, that is everything from me, guys. So thanks again for watching. Have a glorious day and peace.